Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you will be able to Find the length, breadth, perimeter and area of squares and rectangles Analyze triangles as parts of rectangles Generalize for other congruent parts of rectangles Introduction In your earlier classes, you have learned perimeter and area of squares and rectangles the distance around a two-dimensional shape is called perimeter. The space or region occupied by the closed figure is called area. Squares and rectangles. Neetu painted on her rectangular sheet of length 50 cm and breadth 40 cm. She loved her painting very much. So she decided to frame and laminate the painting. The cost of framing is rupees 2 per centimeter and the cost of lamination is rupees 1 per centimeter square. To find the cost of framing, first we need to find the perimeter. Now multiply the perimeter by the rate for framing. To find the cost of lamination, we need to find the area of the rectangular sheet. Next, multiply the area of the rectangular sheet by the rate of lamination. To find the total cost, add the cost of framing and the cost of lamination. Divya decided to make alphabet letter E using square cardboard. First, she is drawing the letter E on the cardboard. She started cutting according to the shape of the letter E. After cutting the shape of E, she had a doubt. Now the perimeter of the cardboard, has it increased or decreased? Immediately she thinks, yes, obviously the perimeter has increased because the distance around the shape is called the perimeter. Children, now can you say whether the area of the cardboard is increased or decreased? Yes, the area of cardboard has decreased. Increase of perimeter need not lead to increase in area. Triangles as parts of rectangles. In this rectangle, draw a diagonal. It split this rectangle into two equal halves, triangle 1 and triangle 2. Both the triangles are congruent, hence their area will be equal. Area of rectangle is equal to area of triangle 1 plus area of triangle 2, which is equal to 2 times of area of triangle 1, since both the triangles are equal. Therefore, area of one triangle is equal to half into area of rectangle. This implies area of each triangle is equal to half into length into breadth. For example, if we have the rectangle of length 5 cm and breadth 4 cm, Area of one triangle is equal to half into five into four. We get the answer as 10 centimeter square. Similar to a rectangle, we can cut the square into four equal parts of triangle. Draw two diagonals inside the square. We can view four equal parts of triangle. This shows four triangles are congruent. In your earlier class, you've already known area of square is equal to side into side. Area of each triangle is equal to 1 by 4 into area of square, which is equal to 1 by 4 into side into side. Therefore, area of each triangle is equal to 1 by 4 into side square. For example, if we have a square of side, say 10 centimeters, then the area of one triangle is equal to 1 by 4 into 10 square, which is equal to 1 by 4 into 100. Therefore, the area of each triangle is equal to 25 centimeter square. Generalizing for other congruent parts of rectangles. Consider the rectangle. In this rectangle, draw a line EF. The line EF divides the rectangle into two equal parts. Both parts are congruent. Hence, area of one part is equal to area of the other part. Therefore, area of each congruent part is equal to half into area of the rectangle. Consider the example. Area of each congruent part is equal to 
half into area of rectangle. Area of each congruent part is equal to half into 9 into 4, since the length of the rectangle is equal to 9. Therefore, area of each congruent part is equal to 18 cm square. Summary Let's summarize the topic. A perimeter is a part that surrounds a two-dimensional shape. It can be thought of as the length of the outline of the shape. Using the following formula, you can find the perimeter and area of a square and a rectangle. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 times side. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times length plus breadth. Area of a square is equal to side into side. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth.